Oh, I'm a little bit sniffly. Let's continue. So, Charles ran off with a gun uh, to confront someone. The other doctor is gone as well. So, we have to go find them. Good William. Where'd William go? He's not gonna hang out with me. cat gets everywhere. I could have easily taken that patrol drone down without his help. What's a drone like this doing down here? Hmm, it's been modified from a military model. Is it the King's? There you are. Meow, meow. You're still with me, little buddy? Try not to take all the glory for yourself. Oh, okay. Electricity leakage warning. I can probably use this to destroy the patrol drone up there. Okay. What? I was standing there so... Whatever. I was standing there perfectly fine. Why did suddenly see me? I guess I'm gonna hit this red button. said I was panicking okay put a battery into there It's going to be a very strange way to start this. Oh my god. Oh! Oh, there's something above me.
time it better. Oh. How convenient. What do I need to do? Interesting leakage. Oh. I I realize I died. This has to be green. supposed to do. I want to take control of the kitty. Hmm. So if I use it again, it's just going to lift him, right? Oh, okay. I lowered it and then William got onto it. Am I... Really? Why doesn't that zap the drone? Then you press the button again. Trying to fully power up the elevator. I don't really want that that way. This doesn't seem to matter right now.
got the battery. Is that where I put it? I'm assuming. Okay. Is there a fire? Freight terminal's up and running. No idea where this lead will take me, but I'd better crack the encryption right now. Piece of cake. What's that noise? <coughs> um, a bomb. The direction of the internal rats is my dust. What? Um. One doesn't want me to cut first, though. So not not this one. This one isn't the first one. Okay, that one isn't it either. Like, following the wires isn't hard, but I just don't, you know, even given this, how do I know what to cut first? And we can just process of illumination at this point. So we start with green. this one. Okay. I'm just 
really bad at this. Green, purple, orange, blue. Uh, so it turns out we're not so good at these puzzles. Oh, is it different every time? Okay, that totally screws screws up my strategy then. literally just don't understand the puzzle. Oh, what is... Okay, I didn't know there was this. So this wire's first. Used. Somebody planted this here on purpose. Noah liked to use bombs in the old cases. Okay, now we can continue checking the logistic hub records. Um. Let's see. The origin of all these goods is always a ways is still ways down, and there's two paths to follow. Connection to Idiot Master established. Luckily, you've got me to help out. Okay, let me check the map. BBX, oh crap, I skipped my dialogue line. I have access to your communications channel. You're surprised I can hack into your phone calls? I guess that makes sense. Remind me to cut off your access later. Tell me what you see on the map. Where did the goods come from? Yes, check your right facing control station. Are you sure? The conveyor leads to the storage room, but the entrance is sealed. Trust me, that's the correct route. Hmm. I'll trust you this one time. How can I get in, though? Kitty? Kitty will get it. Hmm, looks like I'll need to help this moron again. Maybe I can do something with this giant metal thing. Come on, kitty. Okay, it's a magnet. Get the robot over here or something. Oh, or is that all I have access to? Okay. I'm not sure what I'm saying. There's nothing to magnet here. Of course, there's a secret door. William, how does it look from your side? 
I guess if I move that box with the ladder over to the left side, he should be able to get down. As for the green wooden crate, let's smash it. <laughs> Is that right? No. Where do you want this? I can't do much with it. Okay, I know what I must do. Temporarily. Well done, little guy. I'm sure I could have done it quicker if I was up there, but good job all the same. Now how do I actually get down to that doorway? There's a ladder. This switch temporarily pauses the conveyor. If I pay close attention to the timing, I should be able to avoid the drones and jump down. Really? Down from where? That's supposed to work. And we almost had the timing, I think. Oh, this is not at all where we want to pause it. Unless it is. jump off before it drops us in. Oh, I would just fall right off since the timer stops. Whew. 
Where'd the drones go? Oh shit, a sentinel robot. Only its eye and joints are vulnerable. I need to immobilize it. What? Okay, that was really simple. Well, it looks like that dumbass is in trouble again. I need to immobilize the sentinel robot with my massive electromagnet, and quickly, before he beats it all on his own. Meow. William, you did it. Leave the rest to me. Yeah, yeah, I died. I don't understand what... I don't get it. I can't move. What is with the security? Whatever's in that warehouse must be mighty valuable. I have to tread carefully from here on in. Oh. Sentinel robots were eliminated a long time ago. Why is there one in Underbridge District? Smell of burnt meat. Is someone having a barbecue here? That's exactly what they're doing. A barbecue. It's so dark in here I can't see a thing. Oh, it's a party! I told you there are still lots of calculations to make on the data samples. It's not my fault you, I took over a half-finished experiment. Shut your mouth. If Brank hadn't gone missing, no one would have ever asked a crazy chatterbox like you for help anyway. Regardless, the experiment's on track for the moment. On track? How do you know how much money we're... S do you know how much money we're spending on this? Considering the size of our investment, we want more than just on track. The organization didn't pay you for nothing. You can't rush science for cash and payouts. 
And anyway, we don't have enough test subjects. What you're demanding is just... What is it, Dr. Yang? Wait, who are you? Did one of you guys order a pizza? Well, would you look at that? A brand new test subject just arrived. What a time for my luck to run out. I, uh, I can't reach BVX. There must be electrical interference from that bloody washing machine. Never imagined I'd meet my end because of some dirty laundry. William will save me. Meow, meow. William, if I wasn't tied to a chair right now, I'd kiss you. Listen, we don't have much time. We need to disable that electrical contraption they're charging. If I'm seeing this right, you need to change the frequencies of the three small electromagnetic towers, one after the other, to match the increasing frequency of the main electromagnetic tower. Then it should target something else. <laughs> okay, wait, what? Change the frequency of the small towers to match the big tower. Okay. Meow, who are you? No one, no one cares if there's a cat here? So wait, what's the frequency of the big tower then? That's this one one eighty. There are multiple small towers, right? I'm gonna have time. Okay, I can't get to any others. That did it! Now we're ready! Prepare to feel the power of science! Oh man. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's... Trying to do a little bit. Oh. Okay, so we can access this one. I feel like that's 290. I think that's 290, I don't know.
I don't know what number I'm supposed to be changing this to because this number changes. That's that's three fifty. I don't know. That's 440. And I'm dead again. So it makes a clicking sound when I get her back. One down. We did it. Okay, the frequencies have been synchronized, whatever that means. That moron should be safe now. How convenient. Wow, I didn't expect to survive that. Nice work, William. I think we make a good team. I'm the brains and the brawn, and you're the cat. Meow. Uh, so who untied me? Did William untie me? Could he have just untied me that whole time and I could have just ran away? From what they said just now, Brank seems to have been forced to do research on these weapons. No wonder the gangs are so concerned about his disappearance. This electric tower and the sentinel robot from before. What on earth is the king up to? I guess it's the only way. So 
So instead of finding traces of the murderer, I stumble into a secret lab run by the king. I'm gonna murder BBX for this. Hello, master. Through process of elimination, going left is definitely the correct option. You bumbling box of bolts. Thanks to your bad directions, I was almost killed back there. Twice. Um, an error in the mapping system must be the issue. I guarantee this will be the right way. We're gonna have a long chat if I make it out of this mess. It's too risky. The drones are back. finish reading with that side. Controls the delivery of coolant to the furnace. Uh, no, no, I'm, I'm standing in the open. cool the furnace. Um, don't shoot me. What's the point of raising this platform? Okay, I guess that's the point. As hmm, I don't know at all what the point of this elevator is. temperature of the furnace down here to ignite the oil tank. I'm open way up. Or way through. Oil tank. Oh, it's these oil tanks. I get one. Oh, okay. And stop it when the oil tank's above there. I got it. A 
full iron fuel tank, flammable and combustible. High temperature for the furnace should blow this up. We did it. Based on the information I saw earlier, this should be the end of the line. All of the containers were delivered from here. Okay, another one of these. Let's just see. It's a cake. All the raw materials were indeed delivered from here. Noah led me all the way to here, so he must have planned something more. I need to look around very carefully. Let's call Nanko and get an update on the good doctor. Ring, ring. It's me! We have just found out that Charles signal! The signal's being blocked. Noah must have put signal shielding devices nearby. Damn it. Whoa. Oh shit. That was almost a Jill sandwich. <laughs> Another of Noah's tricks. Wait, what's on that container? This container's been modified by someone. If this was left by Noah on purpose, the key that opens it must be somewhere close by. Uh, this tire. Oh, okay, elevator counterweight. The default counterweight. I can control the load capacity of the lift by adjusting the counterweight. Looks like the weight on this side is insufficient, and the switch doesn't have enough power to raise the lift. Okay. The device is falling apart. Reminds me of the lift in a certain lab 13 years ago. So, I'm on a ship at the bottom of the dirtiest, dankest district in Starlight City. In search of the key to a crate that just nearly killed me. 
This must be the bridge. Let's search around for clues. Water always falling. The sound hurts my ears. Thanks to you, I feel awful whenever I hear the sound of rain. But if you've made it all the way here, it means those little gifts before got your attention. You truly are the dogged, driven Detective Rex. Did you see the container I lovingly prepared for you? The criminal you are looking for is right inside. But that was just a short prelude. The real game has only just begun. Can you find the sound I left behind before your life finally comes to an end? He's here. I knew it. He intentionally mentioned sound as a clue for me. But who is the criminal he's talking about? Could it be the guy who made the sculpture? The equipment on this abandoned ship is still working. That's a good place to start. So we can go downstairs. A log of yesterday. There's a log of yesterday's recorded signals, which were sent just before the delivery logistics hub was used. Do I need to remember this? We'll see. It may be useful to record them first. What? This is the first mate's navigation log. Will there be anything interesting? Ooh, she a tall lady. Don't touch that navigation log. This is awful. Changing the equipment on the Destiny Fire, making a mess on my ship, and now reading my first mate's diary. An AR projection? This looks like an old style sailing assistant AI. Are you the captain of this ship? If you're with the guy in the bird mask, get lost. The bird mask? No, I'm here to arrest him. Do you know where he is? My navigation range only covers the area near Destiny Fire, so I can't say whether he's here or not. That weirdo added something to the ship's system, so you'd better catch him soon. He's not allowed on my ship again. So much for a bedside manner, eh? It's, just, it's like an AR captain, not a doctor. Normally AIs would be wiped once the ship's abandoned, or they would escape into cyberspace. But she's been here all this time. She must have a strong attachment to the ship. Uh, so many things to interact with. A battery. Um, that's an empty accumulator. The equipment's intact, but some of these rusty parts need to be replaced. This system can be used to control a combination of more signal lights and foghorn signals. The three graphs on the record are, are sound clues that have been left behind intentionally. There must be a way to reproduce them. The sonar graphs records have captured the sound sent by the foghorn. The foghorn and more signal light work together. The more signal light is needed to send a signal from the ship, and the object the more signal light shines on is the control room of another ship. I need to go have a look. Maybe there are more switches. What a stupid game. But I guess that's right in line with what I expect from you. Noah, let's finish this once and for all. It looks like I have to make sure the whole more signal light and foghorn system's working before proceeding to the next ship. Only There's only emergency power left on this boat, so I'll need to go down to the power room and restart the generator if possible.
that, so let me go restart the power. Ooh, arcade machines. Can I power those up? Problem with the engine? Let's see here. The pressure meter isn't working. It must be broken. Um. Okay. I need to get onto this level. Okay, so I do need to jump over to those arcade machines. There, I already did that. Oh, okay. I mean, I can see just fine. It's so dark here. <coughs> okay, let's get all of the lights on. Robot corpse. Was he the scavenger? He used to be the engineer for this boat, but he became a wanderer after this place was closed down, and he sometimes talked to me. He stopped moving after his internal core started to leak a couple of years ago, so you'd better leave him as he is. Do you not like other people coming onto this ship? He knows the beauty of the Destiny Fire better than you do. You humans only care about the next big thing, flash cars flying through Sky City. A transfer gear taken out of a burnt puppet. Proper parts, I can use the workbench here to make some tools. This gear transmission chain leads to the cabin up there. Could it be? These gear groups were built for easier shipping and dismantling of deserted boats, but the guy with the mask must have altered them for some arcane purpose. Cabin up there does have something to do with the searchlight on the other side. It looks like we have to make the transmission chain run normally in order to receive the searchlight signal in the cabin. 
Looks like you're not quite as stupid as I thought. I noticed that every time he tested the searchlight up there, a green light will shine here. Yeah, when these gear groups are connected correctly to the cabin up there, the green light will shine, which is very useful. I'm only helping you because I want that guy to leave my ship alone. This should rotate around this door will open. Maybe. I need more power. The shell of a boat accumulator. It's an empty battery case. have a shell? No. Oh, and go deeper. Terrified me, okay? <laughs> Holy cow. Looks like a new trick. A room card. 1023. Wait, this is the missing room card from the case of the Scott Hotel. Noah used it to get into the room then. Okay. Score. Looks like this is the key to open the containers up there. Let's go up and check. Maybe there are other surprises for me. Wait, I'm not gonna fix the uh, boat thing first? Yeah, I don't know how to get up here. deck is a complete mess. A large number of gears can be seen throughout the windows and look like they were recently installed. Okay, let's go build this pressure gauge. I still need to build a battery, I guess.
boat's power has been completely restored, and now power can be distributed to more devices simultaneously. Where's that um? Okay, we need to go get that umbrella. Under my umbrella. Yeah, we'll play some space tunnel. Let's go play the arcade. High score. <laughs> that always gets me. Every little handmade gear. Opinion. Oh. Metal handle. An umbrella handle with a cold metal texture. It would make a good control rod if combined with something. A control rod. That's the broken device I need to fix, isn't it? Okay. Okay, so I can't get back to the shipping container even if I wanted to right now. Fair enough. There we go. Special control bar made with an umbrella handle. Now maybe I can. get the rest of this battery in the shipping container. Is this Dr. Edward? 
Congratulations, the murderer is captured. The murderer is dead and cannot answer for his crimes. However, I've helped Mr. Detective and made him confess. It was he who kidnapped the robot innocents and conducted terrible experiments. But these are not his worst crime. His worst crime was going against my will. Okay, so we knew the doctor was sketched, so that's fine. If this note is correct, then the missing underbridge robots were indeed the work of the doctor, and Nanko was right. Noah and Dr. Edwards seem to have been working together for a long time. The doctor must have played an important role in making the nano fluid and implanting devices to manipulate robots. Noah, having abandoned the doctor at this stage, suggests his plan is almost complete. But the doctor seems to have been killed last night, so this means somebody else made the sculpture. There's nothing else for me to do except dance to Noah's tune. Maybe then he'll reveal himself. What's next? Making the signal receiver work properly. Oh, it's a poor rat, a cyber rat. Oh. So it's still, like, alive? Uh, I'm not gonna turn it into a battery, am I? a glodent. Just shove the rat into a battery case. Perfect. This device seems to be able to change the transmission route of the gears. And the gears on the left seem to be connected to the cabin above. The gears on the right control the lift. Okay. Oh, do we need another gear? I think we do. be something down on this bottom level, right? Oh, okay. The toothed gear of destiny. Oh, yeah, I probably should. <laughs> Cool. 
hopefully that's all of the gears. So I need that light to turn green. Okay. sound wave failed. It looks like the fog light signal receiving device is not working normally. I think we need to lift that elevator up. Oh. Oh, okay. Maybe that's enough. I don't need the maintenance bed anymore. Right, I don't even have any items to use. Don't need the maintenance room on. Sure, we'll turn on the sonar. No lighting, just why not? Seems like a lot of work to go to installing giant gear systems everywhere. Okay, that's all three. I better head over to the receiving cabin. It seems like there's some activity over there. Yeah. I have to change the elevator position first. Crack the puzzle. 
puzzle you left me. Now let's see what exactly it is you're trying to do. This is what I saw in my hallucination before. So many dead bodies. It seems like Noah's experiments have never stopped. Ever since that unlabeled parcel at the beginning of this journey, Noah's been laying a trap to bring me in deeper and deeper. What could he want? This is it. It ends right here. Right now. Does it? Is this only the end of the game? After we defeat Noah? Long time no see, detectives. The end in the mist. Where? Where am I? I remember repairing myself, and now I'm in the sewer? Okay, so we're back at the very beginning. After Noah chased us. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, we did all this. Noah, that's right. He attacked me from behind with that... Scythe? I'm surprised how much restoration this crappy machine was able to do. Falling from such height, my body was almost shattered. I have to get back to that sculpture. Noah must be stopped. How do I get there, though? I don't even know where I am. Meow, meow, meow. William, why are you... Oh, yeah. You did me a big favor earlier. Meow, woo, meow, meow. What are you trying to tell me? Are you going to take me somewhere? You were able to find me, so you should know how to get back up there. Let's go, little fella. Are we going to get, like, some resolution to the bio cats and the mob boss actually being a bio cat and all that stuff? Is Noah actually the bio cat mob boss? That would be cool. Meow, meow, meow. That's the way. Sculpture. This is the place. Good on you, William. You'll get a nice reward after all this. Meow, meow. I was attacked by Noah here. He might still be around. I must be vigilant. I mean, didn't that look like it was Noah right there? Oh, no, they're multiple. Okay. That sound. Ugh, my head. It, this feels... Huh? What's going on? It's gone. The sculpture and everything. Don't tell me I was just hallucinating. I thought contact with an implant device was the only trigger, way to trigger a hallucination. But this time, a perfect hallucination was created without one, and Noah was lurking inside this hallucination. First things first, let's inspect this device. signal projector with implant devices as the core, capable of projecting hallucination signal waves. It's been destroyed by William. The core of this weird device. 
It's the same as the implanted device inside Brank's brain. Is this thing creating the hallucinations? Instead of creating hallucinations, I think this thing's more of a signal projector. The core receives external signals, amplifies them, and then projects them. Huh? Why are you here? I thought you couldn't leave that old ship. I noticed that little thing you have on you has an amazingly large storage capacity. So I decided to follow you and check out how you deal with that guy in the mask. But once I got here, I felt a strange disturbance in the electrical force and got stuck in that little thing. I was coding my way out when suddenly I was free to leave. The little thing you mentioned, you were inside the badge from Lola. When I got here, the badge lost signal. The disturbance you're talking about must be from this device, right? Yes, this device has been receiving and amplifying some sort of electrical wave, but that should only influence robots. You seem to have a strong reaction to it though, lad. Is most of your body mechanical? What a rare success story. Why does everyone know about my physical condition? Never mind, seems like Noah made this thing as a trap for me. This electrical wave may continue influencing your special little brain. You need to be careful. I can see it's much less stable than when we first met. It's hard to describe, but I think I can feel the disturbance in my mind. Beep, 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 beep. Hey, the badge suddenly activated. This signal, it must be sent from Charles. The signal came from the elevator shaft on the right. The signal's faint, but it's definitely there. Okay, let's go have a look. I hope Noah didn't put that old man on the experiment bench. Thanks, little fella. I think it's time I promoted you to being my full-time partner. That means when I give orders, you can follow them. Hmm, <laughs> meow. But it's going to get very dangerous from now on, so you should head back home. If something happens to you because of me, your little girlfriend Elizabeth wouldn't stop pissing in my plant pots. Okay. I wanted William to stay. Okay, we have a spooky elevator. This elevator looks creepy. Is it still working? One way to find that. Where's this elevator taking me? Charles' signal is getting stronger. Noah's researching far more than just nanofluid and implant devices. If that signal projector is truly what the captain described, then even without coming into contact with an implant device, it could influence the minds of robots everywhere. This elevator went down pretty far, way below the bottom of the ship. This is a giant underground factory, which seems to have been abandoned a long time ago. They make monster energy drinks here. I've never seen this kind of fungus before. The mushroom umbrella looks like a balloon. It's so thin, it looks like it might- What? Hmm. The slightest shock is enough to set off these fungi. I wonder what these spores can... I wonder whether these spores can do anything. Inhale these spores if you want to die. These fungi has, have been exposed to nuclear waste, so their spores are full of poison. You see a lot when you're attached to a ship for years with nothing to do. Could you give me a warning before you just appear? Seems like you're familiar with this place. I'm an AI with access to a database so massive you couldn't even imagine. This was an underground factory during the human-robot war, long forgotten by time. Be careful, several entries warn of creatures sighted within the depths. 
These kinds of abandoned factories remind me of Noah's old hideouts. He liked building bases deep in the world's dark places. Okay. Down's completely blocked by fungi. How can I get rid of it? I can't unscrew it. Looks like I need professional tools to turn this valve. It looks like you found an abandoned operating room, but everything's broken here. A trash dump, you humans would call it. From my experience, you should never underestimate trash. Come to think of it, you made lots of tools with the trash on my ship, Mr. Junk Collector. I thought you were absolutely in love with the Destiny Fire, and now you're calling it trash? I can call it trash, but no one else can. So we have big wrench. Extra large valve wrench. It says main valve on the handle. It seems like it can unscrew the outside valve. Things can be poured into it. This broken emergency light might come in handy. I'm gonna pour something into it, I guess. This main tube leads directly outside, but no air is coming through it. Other tubes must be channeling the air. This tube channels the steam. I need a valve to turn off the steam transmission. Okay, we'll, we'll figure that out after we turn this out. Nothing happened. It looks like this tube's still blocked. I need to figure out a way to direct the air from inside the workshop into this tube. So that's a little bit that's going through. If I put it back here, that's nothing. And if I put it here, that's super nothing. Looks like I need one more of those valves. wanted a vial of green fluid. but I don't know where to get another valve.
can use the wrench. The flaming bottles set off the fungi spores. Looks like the toxic fog's going to hang out for a while. What's your plan? You seem to enjoy seeing me in trouble. I have to get rid of this spore fog. I'm not enjoying it. Make good use of the tube behind you. The steam coming out of it can disperse the fog quickly. Blow the fog away. Classic. You have a valve, Mr. Robot. You do. Cool. It still looks pretty foggy out there. Do we need to turn this? The fog's been driven away. Now we can go down. The badge activated again. This must be the right way. Just follow the signal. Okay, it's still foggy over there. holographic message doing in a place like this. It must have been left by Noah. What the hell is he up to? What is happening here? The purification begins with this stubborn woman rejecting the fusion. She is lucky to have her sins washed away so she can welcome Bison first. I shall lead the vessel to bear the baptism of the four great sacrifices and engrave the god's decree upon the body of the future. The past ceremonies connect the souls, blessing all who witness bison. Illusions connect our thoughts, electric waves guide the transmission, and when he realized the truth, the man in the mirror was no longer himself. May you pass the final test, and I will be waiting for you in the depths of Light Lake. Were we, Noah? Maybe we're the crazy ones. Uh, where did that beep come from? Another hallucination? What? This place transformed into a, a kitchen. This hallucination, without a doubt. This scene is the crime scene of the Alta State case. Noah's first ever murder, the start of all this evil. The victims of this case were a housewife and two small town robots. At the crime scene, the three were discovered to have been killed at the same time. The body parts of the three were made into a combined body in the housewife's kitchen. This combined body was the prototype for all of the sculptures created afterwards. Noah was still a newbie at the time, but back to practical matters. Another hallucination means another signal projector. I should find it somehow. Okay. This door is plastered with seals. There seems to be absolutely nothing inside. There are some traveling and baking photos on the fridge. The victim was quite popular in town but she had something against roverism and was repeatedly found clashing with robot believers. This sculpture, there was no such thing at the original crime scene. Is it a human? 
three holes in the throat, abdomen, and waist. Maybe I need to fill the holes to break through this hallucination. Hmm. In all the Noah cases, organs of the victims were found missing. The seal's gone. Where does this door lead to? I need organs to fill these holes. This, this is Cheryl's dressing room. This is the crime scene where Noah committed the Singer Sculpture murder on July 3rd, 2126. The murderer killed Cheryl under robot assistant and made their bodies into the sculpture of Bison the White one hour before Cheryl was scheduled to go on stage. Has Noah created this hallucination to relive the crimes he committed? The hallucinations are becoming more and more clear. Is this because I've stayed in it too long? I have to break through Noah's maze fast. Cheryl's gloves. In addition to Cheryl's DNA, another set of DNA was detected. However, the owner could not be identified due to unusual hereditary genetic information. These bloodstained lace gloves were very important evidence. In addition to Cheryl's DNA, some dissolved skin tissue was found. The DNA of the skin tissue was very confusing. We concluded that the murderer suffered from a genetic disease characterized by decomposing skin. Judging from the fact that the murderer wore the female slinger's gloves, we deduced that the murderer might have had some kind of obsession with wearing their victim's clothing in order to become them. Sweetheart, hope you break a leg. I'll prepare a big celebration banquet on the roof of the company building for you. And my family will be there too. They can't wait to see you. I hope you wear the necklace I gave you last week. My driver will pick you up after the show. Always yours, Christopher. Cheryl's lover would come visit her with a bouquet of flowers before every show. He was a successful man and helped her quite a bit in her career. People say Cheryl was hard to live with, but she was extremely gentle to her flower-bearing lover. After Cheryl's murder, he was completely broken and would never be the same. Yeah, he turned homeless. A broken wine glass. According to the investigation, Cheryl had a habit of drinking before her shows. There are lip prints on the glass. Cheryl's drink was also found at the crab scene. It contained 60% alcohol and some anesthetic component. It's believed Noah put the anesthetic in the drink. A vintage record player, which Noah used to play the soundtrack of Cheryl's recent album. Probably to cover up her screams. The device doesn't play anymore, probably the result of the witness hurrying out of the room and knocking it over. <clears throat> I need to adjust the right texture, tone, and pitch to reproduce Cheryl's voice. Let me try turning the knobs. Uh, yeah. That's how this works. This is Cheryl's voice. It was recording. It was this recording that Noah used to buy himself some time to commit the crime. Cheryl's arrogance also assured no success. She allowed no one to interrupt her when she was alone. That's why the staff waited until five minutes before the show to knock on her door, only to find the horrifying scene. A white bird erupts wherever I find a clue related to the case. I think that's it for this case. Are these white birds some sort of tally? Maybe something will happen now. Oh. The 
missing poster was something the police were searching for, but it was never found. When I saw it in Frank's place, I knew Noah was back. Okay, I've looked at everything. This is a sculpture of Bison the White, one of the seven embodiments of Bison. Legend claims that Bison once turned himself to a poet wearing a white robe and took away arrogant people's communicators, making it impossible for him to call for help. This sculpture stands for humility during communication. The police only realized this was an embodiment of Bison when they saw the religious symbol Bison left at the crime scene. Noah, did you create all this just to make me appreciate your masterpiece one last time? Uh, Bison didn't leave any of the crime scene. Noah did. That should say Noah right there. The sharp cries of the arrogant must be cleared away. Bison cleaned up these stains before his arrival by using my hand. The singing voice of the sinners will live in me. So I can praise the miracles of Bison. Noah, stop your nonsense. All you ever wanted to replace your diseased organs with. Uh, all you ever wanted was to replace your diseased organs with the healthy ones stolen from your victims. You say Cheryl's arrogance killed her, but what crime did that robot assistant commit? Cheryl's assistant suffered from her abuse, his humbleness, a contrast to the singer's arrogance. I didn't kill anyone, I was just combining them. Human and robot, the arrogant and the humble are merged into one under the will of Bison. The investigator collected the remains of the two bodies in the sculpture and claimed to have retrieved every piece of Sheriff's body. However, I found subtle cutting marks on the neck which are much finer than the rough cutting found on the rest of the sculpture. By analyzing the forensic records, I found Cherub's throat missing, which everyone else neglected to notice. A throat that shows Noah's lesion. Lesion? Another door, another crime scene. Let's get this done. I wonder if maybe, like, Abel, our partner, didn't, like, sacrifice himself to merge his brain with ours. Maybe, maybe Noah, like, killed us both and cobbled us back together as, as my current me. That's, that's maybe a guess. If I'm not Noah, then that's my guess. This stage, it's the secret function room on a cruise ship, the crime scene of the high sea cruise case on the 29th of January, 2127. The senior officials were parading around robots and freaks when they were killed. It turns out Noah was the real headliner in this freak show. This had the most victims among all Noah's murder cases. Everyone, the performers, the audience, was pieced together into a sculpture. The result was so gruesome that even the most stone-faced police officer was shaken to his core. This secret function room was equipped with a state-of-the-art ventilation system. The senior officials liked to add recreational drugs into the filtering system. Noah took advantage of this. The operation unit of the ventilation system was purposely destroyed. So I'll need to fix the internal circuits to adjust the fan. What? What is this? Okay, I can swap.
I have to go there, that's good. Oh, well, unless I need to swap up and down, those, those should be good now. Yeah, I might need to swap the up and downs. No! Get it. Done. Ah, the sweet smell of success. Investigators extracted some kind of poisonous nerve gas from the air filter net, explaining how Noah put more than 40 people down by himself. Noah supposedly made the poisonous nerve gas himself. People who inhaled the gas were not able to move their bodies, but remained totally conscious. Was this some kind of retrib retribution for the audience? Officials imprisoned the performers. They searched all over for freaks and robots, keeping them here in captivity and putting on freak shows regularly. Later investigation found that several missing cases were linked to the board of officials. Old, this is actually a rather advanced lock. By analyzing the fingerprints on the buttons, we figured out the password, and I still remember one button was put in twice in a row. Oh, I... oh why was it still stuck in six? What? What's that in a row, right? Oh, did not reveal them in order? freak show, the audience wore bizarre masks, hiding their true identity so they could enjoy the sick and twisted performances. There was one mask missing from the scene. Who would have guessed, many years later, the missing mask would turn up on Square Street. Bison's symbol had been left on the mask wall. This was the first time Noah left this symbol at a crime scene. This clue made us realize that all the sculptures we found before were embodiments of bison which later led us to find out about roverism. Uh, I've gotta have some sort of a clue, right? I feel like I missed um, some of this stuff and probably probably just won't get a chance to get it.
don't know what it wants me to do here. Do I know what year the case was? How I was supposed to actually solve that though, besides brute force. So these are the collars made for the performers on which some dissolved skin was found. The DNA collected was quite similar to the DNA of the female singer cram scene. The DNA found on the collar is similar to the one found at the female singer cram scene, but the sequence is more messy which means Noah's skin decomposing problem is getting worse. Noah must have blended in with the freaks after he arranged everything and performed in the show as a special guest. The three white birds representing the key clues are all lit up now, so here comes another horrible sculpture. Oh, that's not that bad. This sculpture is one of the messenger is, is of the messenger of garden, another of Bison's embodiments. This embodiment walked walked through the courtyard of the gods and presented himself in front of both humans and robots, driving out the evil indulgences, suppressing them, and bringing God's electric waveform to all forms of life. These murdered these moodered officials represented the indulgent white sheriff. The, the indulgent wild Cheryl in the female singer case represented the arrogant. Noah's crimes followed the prophecies and legends of Bison's religious sect. Indulgent spirits are lost in the filth and people who find pleasure in the grotesque will be exiled by me into the abyss. Detective, without me, the sins of these people will never be purified. Purified, you killed everyone at the scene, robots and freaks included. They suffered through so much pain, only to be murdered by you. Your so-called purification's nothing but a crazy massacre. Both the indulgent and the abused are guilty. Only by combining the two could we neutralize the sin and restore balance. Both sides have found peace under Bison's guidance. Don't try to excuse your crime. Among all the victims, Noah only took a single software developer's liver. If I hadn't found out about the condition Noah suffered from, I probably would never have discovered the motive for his crimes. Cool. A new door appears. One by one, these cram scenes match things left behind by Noah. The poster, the mask, then the next scene will be. I was right. The 1st of April, 2127. Scott Hotel, room 1023, in the new Sinu City. A case I especially don't want to recall. The victims were a family of four who came for a holiday at Dolphin Park. A mild genetic modification in the father led to a severe genetic disease in the daughter. They kept the disease a secret from the girl, wishing to first fulfill the girl's dream of seeing a dolphin. They weren't expecting to meet Noah. A robot staff from the hotel was also murdered. Uh, 
I'm sorry, but there are no successful cures for your daughter's genetic disease. Although your husband has only been mildly genetically modified, the probability of your offspring developing genetic disease was still high. The patient's organs have developed massive lesions, and she has an estimated four to five months of life remaining. I'm so sorry. Why must our girl suffer through so much pain? We should never have listened to the propaganda of that company. Mild genetic alteration will not lead to hereditary disease. Our naivety ruined our daughter. My little Elisa, I hope to fulfill her dream in her final days to see a dolphin. This is the only thing we can do for her. Get some room in, in rest in the room. Kids are loving the hotel pool. Honey, I feel less carsick after I had some water. Honey, we have been picked as the lucky guest tonight. They'll give Elisa a personalized dolphin trip. Call the kids back now. The husband was called back to the room by his wife's text message and then murdered by Noah. The evidence suggested the wife was already dead when the text was sent. Brand new bunny rabbit toy with one of its eyes ripped off. Elisa is stitched on its back. A fuzzy bunny rabbit toy with one eye missing. Noah lured me into his trap step by step using the victim's doll. He seemed to know what I care about most of all. This is his specialty. Discover the most vulnerable part of someone, then break them down slowly and methodically. This gift can never be given back to its owner. They had been through so much pain, so much despair. A hotel staff uniform stained with blood. Noah dressed up as hotel staff to enter the room, kill the wife, and then call back the other family members using the wife's cell phone, only to kill them as well. The white birds are all lit up now, which means the sculpture from that case will appear soon. I really don't want to recall what happened on that day. Ugh. Like a Cthulhu. This is the sculpture of the White Feather King. Another of bison's embodiments, which can reveal all lies and barriers. The meaning of this sculpture was used as Noah's motivation to kill. I will rip off the masks of false performers. Hypocrites who hide truth from each other will be punished. Hiding the truth from their own child to create a false happiness. Hypocrisy! This is their selfish act of genetic modification that led to the incurable disease, and they pretended to be loving and struggling parents. Deceit is against Bison's will. I reveal the truth. I fulfill the oracle of fusion. Combined together, their disease is shared, and therefore the disease is no more. Nonsense. All you do is kill innocent people while you hide behind your mask. You gradually step closer and closer to the realm of God, towards his highest palace. I receive salvation here, and so shall you. Repent in the realm of God. Your spirit gradually thins out. The vessel is synchronizing. You do not notice, but the person in the mirror has secretly begun to change. Hmm. I've obtained the last organ. Ah, a pain in my head. This strange wavelength. Mm, I can't stand it. I feel desperate. I feel hopeless. I feel insane. Synchronizing. The person in the mirror has secretly begun to change. Noah mentioned the vessel several times. His crazy words must be leading towards something else. What madness awaits me now? 
He wants my body. I'm back at the first crime scene. I need to put the recovered organs back into place. Hallucination gone. The signal projector, just like what I saw in the abandoned ship cabin. The hallucination didn't just appear out of thin air. This is the device that's causing it. It looks like the moment I entered this ventilation room, I fell into the hallucination created by Noah. Noah made me see all the old crime scenes. For what? How do you like the memory album I made especially for you? The two of us have had so many beautiful times together. I was hoping you could disrupt one of my plans at least once. You really disappointed me. You've finally shown your true colors, Noah. No more hiding. Hiding? <laughs> I've been planning something fun deeper underground, and I was thinking of inviting you, my old friend, to have a look. I don't know whether you can stop me this time. <laughs> Alrighty. I can't believe there's an abandoned sanctuary here, and the stained glass on the wall is bison? Who would build something like this in such a gloomy place underground? This used to be an underground factory during the human-robot war, where I forgot what my voice sounded like, where robots and poor people worked day and night. It must have been abandoned after the war. Records suggest people continued to hide here. If a god came to these people and told them he was happy to accept them, it's not surprising they would build a sanctuary for him. Why'd you turn up out of nowhere again? I could have used a friendly face back there. A strong, interruptive wave was holding me back, like I said before. But if you stay away from those signal projectors, the wave disappears. Welcome to Bison's Holy Sanctuary. This is the realm of God. Repent your sins to ensure you are cl a clean vessel. This is a requirement. Stop talking nonsense. I figured out how you made those hallucinations. Without the hallucination, you can't do anything. Have you figured it out? Am I a hallucination now? Is this holy place a hallucination? Or everything you have seen after you fell is only a sweet dream I've created for you. <laughs> I'm done listening to your bullshit. All I need to know is that this gun is real. What? The bullet can't hurt him. Am I still hallucinating? Mr. Detective, are you going to hurt me a second time with that gun? <laughs> you idiot, the interruptive source is on that bird face person. I can feel it. Use your brain. I didn't expect you to bring this annoying captain with you. If you're not ready to repent your sins, then I'll have to purify you myself. Wave interference is causing his figure to shift in and out of view. I need to think of a way to take it out, to take out the entire area. Yeah, the chandelier. Knock the chandelier down. Should I wait until he's under it? Yeah, right? Oh, oh crap, I've shoot multiple times? Did I get him? Let's go have a look. Did he escape again? What is this? Okay. Noah's sickle with a signal projector. 
Now I understand. He's using the hallucinations to mask his true body. There's some robot replenishing liquid, clear in color, not yet oxidized. It must have leaked out of a robot not long ago. Did Noah turn himself into a mechanical being? If so, he'll be more difficult to handle. Anyway, Noah must have been wounded and can't have gone too far. I need to hurry up. An old roverist book. It probably has the prophecy of Bison's return. Bison, the goddess, will return to the earth on the day when the moon disappears. The goddess collects the frequencies of all the gods and burns them into her circuits. With a holy flower made from melted silicon crystal on the head, her holy body is surrounded by the voice of praise. The sharp claws of the goddess made the guards in the courtyard of the made the guards in the courtyard of the gods bow their heads, allowing her to cross the garden and return to the earth. The shapeless goddess needs a body, half flesh, half blood, half mechanical fusion. This combination will carry the will of bisons and... I, I can't flip the page. These people and this disturbing sound. Am I hallucinating again? What are you talking about? What hallucination? There's nothing. I can't detect any interruptive signal. You can't see it? It looks like you were right when you said these hallucinations will affect my brain permanently. I'm seeing the aftermath of the hallucinations. The fluctuations in your little head do seem more chaotic now. Those crime scenes weren't created just to make me recall past events but to drag me inside the hallucinations. Looks like the situation is worse than expected. I need to get this over with quickly. Hmm. He is all drippy. wounded by the chandelier. This is my chance. I've got to get after him in the second elevator. Noah must have used this platform, then brought down this trash heap to obstruct my pursuit. Damn it, I'll need to cycle the platform so I can jump across. What? jump on this broken one? Uh, probably not, which means I've screwed this up. That's it. I can jump over the platforms now. Noah used this elevator to escape. From the way he was moving, he's been badly wounded. God knows what traps he's prepared for you down there. Be careful. Why are you so sweet to me all of a sudden? You're not worried about me, are you? You wish, Detective Dumbass, if you die here, I'd be stuck inside this little badge, and it doesn't have much power left. The elevator's door is stuck. Blah, 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 blah. My biological breeding tubes? Looks like someone's been doing genetic experiments. My database categorizes this as deeply illegal band science. I'm not surprised. Noah's a fanatic for genetic experimentation. The 
can't believe we found his base so quickly. There's only one elevator exit, which means the bird-faced man didn't come through here. Besides, I don't sense any wave signals around, so we should be safe. I can't lower my guard. Let's check this place out first. The hand proliferates into whisker-like granulation. Adhesion of upper mucosal tissue. E-grade defective product. Atrophy below the thoracic cavity. Missing internal organs. F-grade defective product. There is significant reversion. The leg tissue has not completely differentiated. The mandible appears to be gill tissue. Alveolar vesicles. E-grade defective product. The legs develop into tumor-like tissue. Some internal organs are missing. E-grade defective product. Mesoderm development is out of control. Muscle and systemic circulatory system is disordered and proliferated. F-grade defective product. The blastocyst stage is damaged by fungal radiation. The gene fragments are completely chaotic, and the adult body is completely composed of proliferating cells. F-level de de defective product. Uh, I don't like that this vial is, like, shattered. The tip of the spine is split, which leads to parallel proliferations on the head. All heads lack brainstem tissues. E-level defective product. Well, this one looks the most good. Body copying is mostly successful, and some small defects can be repaired through plastic surgery. However, the development of the prefrontal lobe of the brain is abnormal, thus unable to carry out consciousness transference. A grade defective product. The ocular genes and other genes are co-transcribed, and the internal organs are replaced with tissue cells such as conjunctiva lens. E grade defective product. Alrighty. A lab? Is this where Noah conducted all of his twisted experiments? That badge is making noise again. The signal's very strong this time. This Charles you're looking for should be close by. I hope that old man's okay. Can you sense hallucination interference nearby? No hallucination interference here. However, there are so many complicated electronic devices in the lab. I'm sensing that the wave bands on many of these devices have been encrypted. There must be a lot of secrets here. Secrets, eh? We've lost Noah for the time being, so let's at least figure out what he's been up to these past 13 years. Uh, so yep. Signal thingamadoodle. You can either put it in brain or put it in pedestal and then remotely do it. So to be affected, you need the nano liquid. Okay. So the robot's actions are controlled by an external signal. The implanted devices in their brains are both the input mechanism for nano fluid and the receiver of external control signals. The signal projector that produces hallucinations must be an enhanced version of these implanted devices. It can receive Noah's hallucination signals, magnify them, and project them. Was it designed for people who don't have implanted devices in their brain, like me? Okay. So, a consciousness transmission device. Uh, so, robot needs nanofluid and angry, angry brainwave from signal thing. Human needs brain go into brain. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Consciousness transmission device. 
seems to be able to interrupt consciousness by enhancing brain waves. Those devices we saw are only receivers. This machine is what's really creating the hallucinations. Bit of admission. Uh, for, for September 31st, 2127. Patient number two. Preliminary diagnosis, an infection caused by a gunshot wound and a severe genetic disease. Okay, so after we shot Noah in the eye or whatever, he, uh, he crawled over to Edward, to Dr. Edwards' clinic. The patient was originally found in the East District sewers. He was transferred to a sterile incubation pool to maintain his chance of survival. Targeted medicine was used to control symptoms, and the patient himself proposed special medical and chemical theories. Due to these theories, the treatments for Luna and patient O2 were adjusted. Consciousness implantation has become the leading... I feel like there's more I should be able to read, but whatever. Looks like Doc Edwards saved Noah's life, and he's been working with Noah ever since. If only he'd known what the final result would be. Wait, was there any of this way? A strange device with colorful signal lights on it. This must be equipment for handling cargo. Why was it installed here? Don't touch it yet. There might be a switch somewhere. Okay. A giant life support device. It wasn't easy transporting such sophisticated equipment here. The whole thing's covered with a heavy metal curtain. That's got to be an important detail. Could... Could Noah be hiding here? This life support device has way too much encryption for me to crack. Can you open the metal curtain? No, the encryption method's quite advanced. I can't do it either. Let's investigate further. Maybe we can find a way to open it. Okay, some files. Mechanism invades electronic brains via nanorobot liquid, turns off the independent consciousness program. At the same time, it uses the spark implant to control the behaviors of mechanical bodies. Currently, it's completely possible to control robots injected with nano liquid. The only drawback is that the efficacy of the nanofluid reduces quickly. Extended control requires a continuous injection. The spark implant was found in the brain of the robot provided by patient O2. This device has the ability to break through an electronic brain's defenses. More functions have been developed in subsequent studies. However, the origin of the device remains a mystery, and patient O2 refuses to disclose more information. As I suspected, nanofluid and the implanted devices work in tandem, and Doc Edwards' name for the implant is Spark. Patient named Luna. The patient began showing symptoms in the fifth year of marriage and was diagnosed with a hereditary genetic disease. During the early stage, chemotherapy suppressed the symptoms, but the effects of the genetic disease on the organs gradually spread. During the middle stage, parts of the patient's organs were replaced with artificial organs, and the patient had to survive inside a sterile life support cabin. With the technical support of patient O2, attempts are being made to project Luna's brainwaves into a robot using Spark. Cloning Luna with somatic cells and brainwave transmission to an organic vessel afterwards. I wasn't even paying attention. Were all those clone bodies Luna? I don't remember what Luna looked like. Luna, the doctor's wife. Okay. The experimental subjects in the test tube workshop were for her. The doctor wanted to transfer his wife's consciousness into a new body. Was the person I met at the clinic before actually a clone cultivated here? Okay, so that's how the lights need to be. Orange is a four. Okay. Two are purple and blue. The operation prompt for the chain console. I should try replicating this pattern. Indeed, I will. Am I not down here? I'm definitely down here. Should we 
go to that now. So okay, blue being on its own means I can go ahead and get blue into position. Aha! Building secret passageways so far underground. This is so like Noah, sly and cautious. Let's uh, keep looking through this room, though. Oh, that's it. Immersed in the liquid are organs and tissues growing in conjunction with the machinery. Beep, 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 beep. I can sense the signal again. Charles must be close by. These clothes. The delivery guy who gave me the parcel was wearing these. Everything began with that parcel. Is Noah the delivery robot? What? This is Noah's black robe. How come it was left here? Looks like he was badly hurt. The replenishing liquid disappeared here. That guy must be... One out! Please! Anyone! Hear that? Someone's calling for help behind the door. It's Charles. Thank God he's still alive. Are he and Noah both behind that door? I only sense one organic life, but there is indeed another unusual wave. Be careful when you go in there. Okay. So this is the elevator no one used, and uh, alrighty. That bastard! Let me out of here, Edward! I think, think about what you're doing. Ed? Charles, thank God you're still alive. Who's there? Eh? Ha <laughs> ha, Detective Rex, it's you! Wow, am I lucky! How did you find this place? Come on, get me out of here! Okay, that's the Luna robot. Is this... Is this my photo on that board? This information's from back when I first returned to Starlight City after my mechanization was completely stabilized. Thanks to Abel's sacrifice at the Apocalypse Garden incident, I wouldn't even be alive today. Has Noah been studying me all this time? What the? Noah refers to me as a vessel in the records, and the date circled in red is the date when I received the parcel. He's been after me since the beginning. Vessel. The document next to the device says, Beta Type Consciousness Transmission Device. It can enhance brain waves, interrupt other people's consciousness, and eventually infuse self-consciousness onto a receptor, controlling that person. This seems to be an unfinished product, still under testing. If Noah and the Doctor had succeeded in perfecting this machine, they would be able to control absolutely anyone. Human, robot, it wouldn't even matter. Hey, I'll get to you, Charles. This is Doc Edwards' diary. The weirdest thing happened today. I found a bird-faced man in the sewer near the clinic. He was weak, near death. Severe wounds, infections, and genetic diseases ate away at his body. Huddled in that sewage, he might have died at any moment. But he didn't even ask me for help. 
Instead, the master's face said, You need me. And he was right. He can help me cure Luna. This Noah has accumulated a vast knowledge of chemistry and biology. And most importantly, he possesses the kind of madness that goes hand in hand with using long band technologies. I saved him as much as I can. And in return, the bird-faced man has guided me step by step to resurrect my Luna. I didn't want to hurt those robots, but... Well, I had no choice. I failed to transfer Luna's thoughts into the original subjects. Only the memories made it into the subjects. Luna's, trans Luna's personality was not transplanted successfully. Today we had a breakthrough. That monster is truly a genius. By using spark and nano liquid, we managed to actually control robots. Nobody will believe it. We used a consciousness transmission device to remotely send signal waves and transmit consciousness into the robot's bodies. Although it's not perfect yet, I can only currently control those robots remotely. More work needed to save Luna. Consciousness transmission device. It's a brainwave amplifying transmitting device based on Spark, which transfers the user's consciousness to another receiver. When the receiver is a human, only the user's memory can be transmitted because of the block from the special personality trait that is unique to human beings. I'm working day and night now, and always that monster is there at my shoulder. At this stage, consciousness transmission onto mechanical receivers is under development. Obstacles in the research. The user of the transmission device can only project a part of his consciousness onto the mechanical receiver. Just enough to initiate a kind of remote control, but this is not enough. Failure. But although the test subject experiment failed, I improved that consciousness transmission device. Luna will soon return to me with a mechanical body. I haven't told the monster about this. He is just using me, and the robots controlled by Spark seem to have gone beyond my control, too. I have a plan. Once the experiment is over, I will take you away from this country, to an unknown island. Let that monster go to hell. Alright. This robot, from the wounds on the body, was probably dressed up as the Noah I attacked earlier. Where is that man? Wait, I remember this robot. It's Angela, the missing waitress from the fantasy jellyfish. I was way too drunk to even remember taking that job. Why her? Where's the real Noah? The wave fluctuation from her is the same as the bird-faced man we saw earlier. The nano-liquid must be controlling her and repairing her wounded body gradually. I have to stop it now. I wouldn't waste your time. Once this equipment starts running, it seems it cannot be stopped. In order to prevent accidents, the robots are locked in the machine. That bastard. He only uses innocent people. Let's get Charles out first. Maybe he knows how to stop it. A crowbar. That'll come in handy. Handy. Well, you're not controlled anymore. What? What is this place? Who are you? Don't be afraid, little girl. I've already temporarily suppressed the nano fluid's control over you. And I'll give you a good cleaning up when we get back to my workshop, if you know what I mean. Thank God you're here, Charles. Her name's Angela. She's been under control since being kidnapped by the doctor. She was even dressed up as Noah earlier. D Detective, I am completely shocked by this affair. This was the work of Edward and that Noah guy. Once I checked the sample you gave me, I knew it was Edward who made it. He's very talented when it comes to nanorobots. I couldn't imagine he. After so many years, I couldn't imagine him making such a terrifying thing. Hur hurry up, that spooky doctor, if he comes back. Don't worry, Angela. The doctor's not going to return. What? Did you, uh, chat with him? No, it was Noah. 
or rather Angela, but this is not important anymore. Doc Edwards gone. He wasn't like this in the beginning. He did it all for Luna. He was used by that guy because of his love for Luna. Angela, relax. Can you tell us anything that would help us find Noah? Who's Noah? I don't even know. I'm so confused right now. I feel like I had the longest dream. I did awful things in the dream, even though I didn't want to. Those humans and robots were all... Easy, Rex. Let her calm down first. She was just freed from the nanofluids control. Well, in that case, you and I should go back to the lab, Charles. There's some kind of giant life support tank up there. I want to crack it open. Oh, no. That was not Noah. That was... Well, let's go. I'll show you. Perfect clone Luna. Or the original Luna's body? I don't know. Luna. Yes, the real Luna. Poor thing, I should have guessed no one could recover from such horrible genetic disease. It was only last night that I discovered Edward has been maintaining Luna's broken body using this life support equipment. He was planning to transfer his wife's consciousness into a new body using Noah's technology. However, Luna has been tortured, spiritually and physically. Charles, Charles, why are you here? And you, the vessel? You know me? Why the hell do you know anything about me? Oh, this is because of you. Please stop Edward, he's lost in too deep. I'll stop him. I will stop him. He won't hurt anyone else. Thanks. I hope I hope you can really, really do it. You, the vessel. Charles, please turn this equipment off. I'm in so much pain. I should have died a long time ago instead of living like a monster here like this. I... I... Luna, I've known you for so many years. You and Edward are my best friends. What, what should I do? Friend, tell me if you were me, what would you do? Oh. That's what she asked for. And, and Edward's gone anyways, like she'll, she'll never have a happy ending. Let's turn it off. I'll end her pain. She's been through too much. Thank you, Detective. Luna will finally be free from pain. Luna will be free, which is the best result. Uh, Detective, are you alright? You look like you're in pretty bad shape. I'm not hurt, but... Noah's hallucinations have been influencing me this whole time. I feel more and more strange. Hallucinations? Can someone without an implanted device be influenced too? You only have half an electronic brain, don't you? I can tell you about that. Angela, are you feeling better? Have you remembered anything? When I was controlled by the, what did you call it, nano fluid? I still had some hold on my, old, my own consciousness, so I know something about their plan. All this was done to get you here, beginning when I delivered the parcel to you. They have another machine, but it isn't here, a machine that was designed just for you. Yeah, I can remember easier now. The moment you first touch the device in the parcel, each touch pulls you deeper and deeper into the hallucinations. And each hallucination was designed specifically to synchronize your brainwaves to that machine. According to what they said, if the synchronization is allowed to finish, your own consciousness will be erased and your body will... will become the vessel for Noah? Ha! This is ridiculous. All this was done for my broken body? Ah, uh, your body is very special. 
It looks like you're not aware of what your body can do. Your body is something people dream to have. According to Angela, you must stop entering the hallucinations. If you're robbed of your body, then who knows what Noah will do? Noah, every day he's allowed to walk free on this planet. More people will be deceived and hurt. I can't let this continue. I see you've made up your mind. If you're determined to beat him, then there must be a way. After I was captured, Edward shared a lot of the research about consciousness transmission. Now I reckon that the consciousness transmission device can work both ways. Charles, what are you getting at? When you drag, when you are dragged into hallucinations, you're connected with that equipment. Or you are connected with the person who's controlling that equipment. Aha! And if your will is strong enough, you might be able to influence the consciousness of that person instead. You mean, I can alter the hallucinations? Yes, but it won't be easy. You better think it through before meeting Noah. I don't know who this Noah is, but that doctor took that elevator deep down below. Deeper than I've ever been. Hiding even deeper underground? That's where my final battle is. I'm sorry, Mr. Detective. I hurt you, but it was not of my own will. Never mind. I'm used to being hurt by beautiful women. Your friend Brayden will be thrilled to know you're still alive. Brayden? Who's that? Maybe I haven't cut all my memory back yet. How will you do with the research? It can't fall into the wrong hands. Don't worry. I'll take care of it. This nanofluid was originally developed for good purposes, even if that good purpose was forgotten along the way. About that consciousness transmission device, when you find Noah, please just destroy it. Are you comfortable with what you're about to do? Yeah, I'm super comfy. Uh, wait a minute. Oh, what are you doing here? Me? I need some fresh air after being stuck in that batch for so long. But, Detective Dumbass, watch out, okay? To me, it seems like everything's a big trap designed for you by whoever this Noah character is. Are you really going to walk right into it? Of course I am. I'll run him down, springing whatever trap he set along the way. You sound confident. Maybe you should consider making a copy of your consciousness. That way, if you fail, you can go on without, with, with your detective game in the electrode state. Thanks for your advice, but nah, I'm not interested in electrode steep. Okay, is that everything I can interact with? Heckin' yeah, let's go down. Let's go. Although I told you it might be possible to fight against the hallucinations, it will be extremely difficult. Think it through. Don't worry about me, Charles. I've done this before. Now you take Angela and leave as quickly as possible. Captain Ramrod here knows the way out. Thank you. I'll see you back on the surface, Detective. Be careful, Detective Dumbass. Come back alive. You have to take me back to the Destiny Fire. Such sweet words from an AI. Maybe I'll try and survive after all. Finale time. Sparkling lake water. This must be the light lake that mentioned in the holographic message. According to Noah, he's expecting me to undergo some kind of test down here. In the most beautiful place lives the darkest soul. Drifting on clear lake water, the perfect vessel is purified and brought to me. 
a body of both flesh and machine will pave the way for Bison's arrival. The time for rebirth has come. I've waited far too long for this. Come here and sing an ode to my new life. All right. I'm getting smaller. Or well, the camera's getting further back, I don't know. The ignorant wanderer, stupid little detective, bow your head and witness Bison's final embodiment, the omniscient judge. Bison's eye comes at my call, and its gaze penetrates those who pretend to be righteous. Come feel the heat that goes into one's soul. Wait, Bison's eye? If my memory isn't shot from all that drinking, that stands for the eye of punishment that clears hypocrisy. Like Charles said, if I can focus, I can redirect Noah's attacks, or perhaps even use the attacks in my favor. The final game has just started, Detective. Now I shall watch you run from the light like the insignificant cockroach you are. Can't touch this. Wait, what am I supposed to be doing? Okay, they have pointy bits on them. Okay, I, I get it now. Detective, I've made the right decision in choosing you as the vessel, but your resistance is futile. Yeah, yeah, you're losing the game, Noah. Let's get this over with.
Oh, I need the other blue one. Those possessing the hubris to challenge God shall fail. Anyone who meets the eye of God shall plummet from the greatest height. Detective, I've had enough with this game. This is where your life ends. How is it possible for you to break through my hallucination? This flesh. Noah, is this how you look now? In a state like this, are you even a human being anymore? Something must have gone wrong. Bison makes no mistakes. The ceremony, the doctor, you... These have all been arranged. No, this can't be right. You've been relying on the consciousness transmission device to obtain the power to control others. Noah, your sick, inhuman device failed to save you, and instead turned you into a monster. Your body belongs to me. My disease is a test from God, for which I was abandoned and despised. I was forced to suffer the most unimaginable pain. Bison made a deal with me. A new body, if I pass the test, a new body! All this just your own imagination. Noah, stop lying to yourself. <laughs> Detective, do you think this is the end? I am just a small part of the darkness. As long as robots and humans exist, the cracks will not disappear. Are you... Curious why robots have that device in their brains. I didn't put that device there. I just made an alteration. There's a darkness inside darkness. I am not the only one who wants to turn this ugly world upside down. Who first made the implant device? You will never know, detective. I'm going to Bison now. As for you, there are bombs everywhere in this place. You will die with me. <laughs> blow it up. Blow everything up. <laughs> Is this the end for our hero? <laughs> on the next exciting adventure of Tales of the Neon Sea. Epilogue. <laughs> beep, beep, beep. Wakey, wakey, it's time to get up. Jeez, you're so loud. What are you doing, BBX? Do you want to be taken apart and rebuilt? I need to perform a routine checkup on your mechanical parts. It's four days overdue. Sure, whatever. Just wait for me over there and I'll come to you.
Okay, let's get this over and done with. Body scan in progress. According to the scan, 98% of your mechanical parts are brand new. I can't believe you survived such a massive explosion and even got your old parts replaced with new ones. <laughs> you better believe it. Old Charles has got the good stuff. Even parts that are only available in Sky City. Ah yes, about our guests. They can't just stay in our house like this, especially that arrogant little robot. You don't have enough money to support six people. Look, BBX, we talked about this. They've got nowhere to go. And the cash situation? Well, we just haven't had a lot of jobs lately. That's because you keep turning them away. There's a customer this morning waiting for you downstairs. Go have a look and don't say no. And remember to get your deposit this time. Okay. We are back at home. I have new messages. Hello, Mr. Detective. How have you been? I just wanted to tell you that without your help, I'd probably still be doing evil deeds under the control of those evil people. I still can't thank you enough, but I'm sad I can't go back to work at the Fantasy Jellyfish or Bellflower House. I haven't told anyone about Noah or the kidnap, just like you asked me to. People keep asking me where I've been, what I've been up to, which makes me remember. But the whole thing has come to an end. I think I left the Bellflower House just to see the world outside Underbridge. Maybe this is what the real world is like. A world of bad people like Noah, and good people like you. I've decided, decided to leave Starlight City to see a bigger world, and will be sending you postcards during my trip. By the way, I still can't recall who Brayden is. Forget about it. He must not be that important. Hmm. Hey Rex, you finally came, called me back. When are you going to tell me more about that case? I'm under a lot of pressure from my superiors. Don't make this so hard on me. Ha, huh, Royd, I've told you everything I know. It was a real miracle the King even let you into the Underbridge District for investigation. Hey, don't play dumb with me. We had a hard time with the people in Underbridge for two weeks, but ended up with a pile of relics. Only unknown broken robots, bodies, and fungi. There was a lab down there, wasn't there? I don't know where it came from, but we have a lot of information that says what Noah and the Doctor were working on was relevant to revolutionary riots. Now my superiors are going crazy, urging me to investigate anything and everything. They want answers. It looks like you're working very hard. That's exactly like I told you. I haven't found Noah. I'm just the victim of an explosion. All right, Rex. You're not ready to tell me the truth yet. I really hope you aren't involved, involved in this. You know how sensitive this is for the superiors. Forget it. Look, do you want to have a drink at the Fantasy Jellyfish? I have a friend I'd like you to meet. You trying to get me drunk so I'll talk? You must be even more desperate than you sound. See you tonight, then. I didn't expect this incident to cause such a big aftershock. But it's got me thinking. The Miss Perry murder happened before Noah sent me this gift. The timing of the crime and the crime scene evidence both indicate that it wasn't done by Noah. There must be someone else who used the implant device to help the butler robot break the three principles. Didn't Noah say something about simply altering the devices that were there already? If that's correct, what does the original maker of these devices have planned? Maybe what Noah said was true. There are layers of darkness that fold over each other deeper and deeper. Well, the man in the mirror looks the same, so that is a good sign. Oh, all the cats are still in my house. You did me a big favor, William. I've been meaning to study you more closely. You're so much smarter than other cats. Meow, meow. Finally, you see. Although Charles is an expert on robots, I wonder if we can ask him to do some research on William. Strap him down, laser through the skull. Hmm, meow. What, you don't like that? Maybe I should research you myself instead, if you know what I mean. How 
of like a motherly matron. Matron. He always wakes me up in the sweetest of ways. Imagine the BBX voice I was using waking you up in the morning. That'd be horrible. And singing lullabies. Ugh. The white cat used to belong to Miss Perry, but after she died, William brought her here to my place, along with many other street cats. What a headache. Are you well? After replacing so many parts and organs, I expected your body to reject some, but you don't seem to be experiencing any side effects. Ha, huh, there's a walk in the park for me. Charles is a really good technician. He showed me his gold finger. I feel brilliant now. Was that sound an explosion in the attic? Charles must be doing dangerous research again. That Charles needs to leave this house this instant. He's an awful old man. Wow, this outfit. I didn't think Captain Ramrod would be seen dead in clothes like these. You, you shut up. It's all because of that old man. He told me that he was adding me to the detective office network, but he was actually just changing my code to put me in this stupid outfit. You look good in them. Next time, you should ask Charles. What did you say? Nothing. I was just saying, uh, I'll go find Charles now. What's the old man thinking? You'd better hurry up. Me, a captain in this outfit? It's humiliating. He's still hot-tempered. I don't know what Charles is up to up there. I just hope he won't blow the attic up. So we can go up or down. Let's go. Uh, oh, that big uh, Titan robot? I don't know, whatever, whatever the heck that robot's called. What happened? Why is there a smoking riot robot in the attic? <coughs> Well, the modification failed. <laughs> Thank God this is my workshop or I'd have to pay to repair it. Uh, I don't want to talk to Namco. I don't like that robot kid. I want to talk to the thief kid. Oh, maybe I will. Grandpa Charles' experiments are so dangerous, so I'd better watch from far away. Indeed. Spacious place you have here, Rex, and again, thank you for letting us hide out here. The king and the police are still trying to find anyone involved in that there explosion. Letting you? I didn't exactly have much choice. You insisted on moving in. Is this the robot from Morax's shop? Yeah, that young man owed me, so he gave me this robot to pay off the debt. If I can alter this robot successfully, it'll greatly improve our combat prowess. Looks like the robot's nearly ready. Wait, hour? Are you never going back to Underbridge District? What about the doctor's research and his wife Luna? I processed Edward's research data before we escaped the lab. It's some very advanced technology, but maybe too advanced for this day and age. As for Luna, the life support tank was too big to move, and the explosion? She was buried underground with Edward's lab. In the end, she and Edward are together forever after all. There's one more thing on my mind. Before he died, Noah mentioned that he wasn't the one who created the implant devices. Even though this case has been cracked, there's still another layer I can't quite see. In that case, we'd better get this riot robot working post haste. Hey, yeah, I'll talk to the stupid kid. Hmm, this armor's well crafted. There are special switches inside, and if the wearer doesn't understand how they work, he can never take it off again. That's why. No wonder William was stuck in there. But I did see a cluster of black. Oh, hello, fellow detective. Are you awake? Don't worry about the explosion. Grandpa knows what he is doing. It's just that his tools are still in underbridge, and we can't go retrieve them right now. Nanko. Do you know what's happening in Underbridge? You've got a lot of connections there. I guess, uh, since I'm living here, there's no reason not to tell you. The king sends lots of people to dig up the remnants of the lab, hoping to find something useful. After an explosion like that, I don't think there is much left. 
One more thing you might be interested in. Luna from Edwards Clinic has gone missing. The Luna from the clinic? That's a clone of Edward's wife. Maybe she's gone to start a new life of her own. What's your plan now, detective? With Noah gone, you have accomplished what you set out to do many years ago. Don't worry about me. I can sit back and help old grandmas find lost cats till the end of my days now. So Brayden, so I need to find Angela. So Brayden must be have something to do with the deeper plot and wanted to stop Noah from interfering. I don't know. And so set us out on the case. Although we would have been set on the case anyways from the parcels. I don't know. Why are you standing at the door? Fancy Feather! It's Fancy Feather! It was Fancy Feather who made the appointment. Her squad of minions have taken over our living room. Why is she here? We're a long way from Underbridge. Let's just bust in and wipe them out. Uh, no. Calm down. Let's hear them out first. Is Harry Potter here yet? No. Whoa. Didn't expect to, you, to see you here, Miss Fancy Feather. Did you come all the way here to give me this new VR game console? <laughs> oh, Mr. Detective, are you playing with me? This is what you will travel in to Coral City. Coral City? You want me to visit the electronic world? Sorry, Miss, sir, Feather. I'm not going back in there. I knew you would say no. Take a look at this first, and you may change your mind. The Coral City. Hurry. Go tell Rex. What we've been hiding there might have been found by someone. Hurry. Be quick. The Coral City. Those guys. They want to. What? Abel? But he's dead. Where did you get this video? This video a clip was sent from the Electrode State last night. If you act quickly, you may be able to buy some time. You seem to know a lot of things, Miss Fancy Feather. That's because, as stars align, so do our interests. Now, Mr. Detective, are you ready to go? Looks like I have no other choice, Sable. Is there more game to this, or is this the end of the game? Case closed. We did it. I thought that was pretty good. I enjoyed it a lot. And they need a better translator team. They need to have their translator team actually working with the art team so that the translated subtitle text doesn't conflict with the text depicted in the artwork. So that's my only complaint. I'd also like voice acting just because I, I can't do many voices. And I never remember what people's voices sound like, so... I want another game uh, from this. What if they're working on like a sequel? I would play a sequel. Oh, you can't skip these credits. I really expected that um guy that we sent to like the internet to actually play a role later on. The like secret puzzle treasure room in the back of the bar. It may have seemed like he'd come back to help us at some point. 
that just wasn't a thing. Yeah, sweet. Whew. Thanks for chilling with me. Um, I guess I'll end the stream a bit early because the game's over. Later. Peace out.